That was one of the interviews that I actually enjoyed from Kanye. That was the first Kanye interview that I enjoyed in a long time. First one, he looked happy too. Yeah, yeah, really? and he was in his bag. He was, dog. In, his bag. He was oh. in his. He was in his. He was in his bag, yo. Okay. Or sorry, yay. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Formerly well, known as. Formerly known as Kanye West, because <laughs> he officially changed, <laughs> he his, changed name his name to, to yay. yay. Wow. So, um, but he was in his bag. He seemed, and it was like, it was good because I remember the Joe Rogan one. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Do you remember the Joe Rogan yeah, one? Yeah. I wasn't fucking with the Joe Rogan one too much. Yeah. That was during the political campaign, and it was just like I really wasn't trying to hear that shit from Kanye. I yeah, don't like, nobody is really. He was talking about other stuff in there, of course, too. But this one, he talked a lot about music. Mm. Uh, he talked about his life. He talked about uh, everything. He talked about race, Dame Dash, Jay Z. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Damn we John Legend, that shit. Big John, Sean, John Legend, Talib Kweli. Sean, Talib Kweli. Damn. Um, Drake? Um, he talked about Drake. like, yeah, he talked yeah. about a lot of life shit too though where he a was talking A lot of life about, shit too, yeah. Yeah, where he was talking Kim. about like Kim, his marriage shit. He talked about the publicist he don't fuck with. Yeah. He talked about he talked like about the destruction um, of his. But then he also yeah, talked about some, like the actual destruction of his home. Almost. His home, yeah, yeah exactly. Damn, yeah. I watch it. And then he talked about uh, also he talked about like what he believes is like where he's like kind of nomadic now almost how he doesn't have a home anymore. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he talked about damn near um, he how he like, wants shit to be like villages damn near like why are we? Yeah, not, and he was saying ultimate freedom is when you go, you can go anywhere and you don't have to pay. And you don't have, you don't to, pay have to pay for anything. You don't have to worry about. But the worth of my sleep. name is enough. Mm. Yeah, your yeah. name is enough. Yeah. 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 And um. Oh. Yeah. I did screen record a couple of the moments that I did enjoy. Uh, oh, video. okay. Yeah. That conversation, oh, I never fuck Kim. Like, no, but what about all the, did you ever DM her? Did you ever, you know what I'm saying? Everything else around it. He's talking about Drake it's right now. about just the actual act of it. You know, the act, the anticipation of something is, the, is what we live in. Now is the shortest moment of our life. Okay, that was a bar. Bar. That mm. was a bar. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. anticipation used to be the biggest moment. Now it's the shortest part of where we live. Mm. Is that what he said? No, Somewhere? no, no. He said uh, the anticipa- He said uh, now is the shortest moment of our life. Yeah. Oh. He said the anticipation of something is what we live in. Mm. The anticipation of something is the is what we live in. Now is the shortest moment of our life. Yeah. Now, the now that was just there is just gone now. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Mm-hmm. He's basically saying life is a uh, 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 Instagram story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just like. It's and one going. of the things that um, twenty four hours. The reason that came up is was like he was talking about like they brought up obviously the Drake and Kanye situation and why they beef and he was saying that the reason they beef and he's saying that uh, Drake says things that get under your skin or the way that his mind works is Drake says things that have you thinking. So it's like. You say things slick about my wife like you like you fucked her or something. Or you like kinda allude to the fact that you might have fucked her and she knows that's true. My wife don't even fuck with you no more because you keep making it you trying to make it seem like we had something at one point. But then Kanye's like, but then outside of that, I'm thinking and then I've had a man to man conversation with you, like, bro, what's up with you? Like this is my wife. Like, why are you talking like that? And he's like, but did, but then at the same time, you're thinking, but have you DM'd her? Have you slid her DMs? Like, have you tried to shoot your shot and she denied you? Like, now he's got all these things hanging over his head and shit Psychological like that warfare. Yeah, so, yeah, psychological warfare. That's what I was, I was just getting to that. I was like, okay, it seems like Drake... Is one of those people who are like ninjas, where they like they shoot, know, shoot like subconscious darts. Yeah, yeah, they got like psychological. Uh, yeah, yeah, they like to like t- like uh, like a ninja, just kind of just throw it in yeah. there, and it like takes you five seconds to even realize like what happened. Oh, super petty! Just literally yeah. just planting seeds of where I want you, be, where you want you to mentally be fucked up type. Of yeah, shit. but then at, on the opposite end, like Kanye is one of those people where it's just like they're they're one of those people that it actually works on yeah. the most, yeah. you know, because and, they're and always the funny, and the funny self-conscious. Thing, and the funny thing about it is, is is probably a lot of Kanye just being self conscious. That the, at, half of it could be that. Half of it could just be but, that. You know, but what Drake like, knows that exactly. It, exactly. It's like when. Exactly. Somebody knows your exactly. button. They yes, yes. And they just push they that just bitch push over it, just like in a relationship. You know, yes. like you, somebody will always be that one person in the relationship that just knows how to push your buttons. Oh man, that's dangerous yeah. too. <laughs> 
Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> and just, just say like an there. underlying <laughs> line. You're like, it's just like say something. It's like, okay, just off the cuff. And then you're just like thinking it's nothing. And then you think about it and you're just like. Gets you all, all up out of character. All, they right? always leave you with shit that fucks your head up afterwards. Yeah. 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 Like a little the soliloquy. Moment, you'd be like, what? And then you really. Then you start dissecting it. Yeah. And you'd be like, fuck that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I know like, you know, he's not considered like a funny uh, comedian. But I remember like Dane Cook once oh, said. He was funny to me. Yeah, I liked him back in the yeah, day, too. he was really... He got huge in the he, early 90s. In 2005, that no, was yeah, his early, year. Early 2000s, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was his year, because I remember that thing that he used to do, like, whatever it was. Yeah, like, my girlfriend at the time was crazy about him. Like, he was, like, He was thing. everything. He yeah. was everything, too, yeah. yeah he was everything but, at one point, yeah. But, yeah, but I just remember from his special... And, and I think I taped his special, too, on VHS, because I, I found it the other day. I was like, oh, Dane Cook. I, yeah. I guess I was a fan. Right, um, right. I can remember. But, yeah, he did say something like that, where he was like... He, you know, my my girlfriend, like, she would just, like, just be, like, a ninja and just, like, throw a dart. Or, or no, she, he called it, like, a, a a grenade, you know? Like, he'd just, like, plant a grenade, and, oh. you know? And then it'll just go off later. In a few, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> In a moment, they, be, they, yeah. they know how much damage they're doing now, but... <laughs> His you got, you got she pulled the pin and just waited for that yes. shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he was just, like, you know, she'll say something like, yeah, well, you're just like your father. And he's, and he's just like, <laughs> what, whatever. And then he just later on, he's like, yeah, just like my father. Just like my father. My father was a good man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it, you know, it blew yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, no. But yeah, that was, but yeah, so basically, I think that's the same exact, exact thing that's going that's on. That's what with, he's talking about. Yeah, Drake yeah. is one of those people that plants grenades. Right, right. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of people, you know, it seemed like, okay, now, he was talking crazy about some people. There, yeah, but all the salacious clips get pulled out. And the crazy yeah, thing about yeah, it is, yeah. it's like, okay. It seemed balanced, but they was going crazy. They was going crazy. People were pretty pissed at Kanye. Yeah, they interview. are. They still are because he said, a, he said a lot of shit. And he like, did, when, you, when you take that moment alone at where it's at. Because <laughs> yeah. the thing is, even if you don't take that moment where it's at, it still sounds crazy. But yeah. when you take that moment by itself, it sounds crazy. <laughs> it's wild, bro. Yeah. It sound, and, and like right now, I could make I could make a compilation. I could probably make a 20 minute compilation of him shooting at people off of that oh, and yeah. it would go fucking crazy. Like Get down. Get down. down. Are you kidding me? <laughs> My fault. I did that in the fucking speak in the Oh no, you good, you good, you good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so because he was talking spicy, but in context, he was still talking spicy sometimes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, let's yeah. not like downgrade. Yeah, yeah, we can't say he wasn't. He said <laughs> yeah, a lot of yeah. shit that but I don't know. It just felt good hearing him talk and not it didn't I, I don't know. Everybody said like I felt like antics. People like, are saying, yeah. People are some people are like don't like it at all. Like and just feel like, like he's like I heard the whole interview. Yeah, like, I they heard, felt yeah. like the whole interview was just like some people just feel like this is a Donna this is a Donna Deluxe mm-hmm. uh, thing. But out of all his other Interviews? out of all the no out of all of the out of all of the what do you call them stunts before something mm-hmm. happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, out of all publicity of his, stunts. Yeah, out yeah. of all of the stunts that he's done, and we'll call it since he's been with Kanye. Since he's been with Kim Kardashian, mm. this has been the best one to me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah. TMZ when he's like slavery was shows, a choice. Like that was stupid to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like because that was just wrong. Like yeah, that was, that was, was a, not well thought out. Yeah, yeah it was. A, it was a lot of stupid. Ass, there's been a lot of stupid stunts that he's done. Yeah, even if this is before a drop. But this is the most I've enjoyed yeah. this one the most. Wait, wait, but at yeah. the same time, I mean, this is an album promotion, right? Like, I mean, I mean, like this is post-album promotion. Post-album, yeah, when you're, yeah, 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 when your album's coming out, you do interviews. So, right, but, right, right, right. Well, you see, um, I, I listen to, to I, I still listen to Joe Budden, right? I'm one of those sickos. Yeah, <laughs> all right. I haven't listened to him in a while. And, <laughs> and like, he's a polarizing person, but he says shit that makes me think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And Kanye kind of does that too. But he said something about the interview that made me think, and like I kind of agree. He was like, Kanye is kind of one of the people he thinks so far out out of there. Like, you have to almost go into an interview with him by emptying your mind first and trying as hard as you can to figure out what the fuck he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Yeah. That's true. You know what I'm saying? To would, even like yeah. get and get anything from it. If yeah, you go into true. there with your own natural, like normal morals, ethics, or judgments, yeah, you're gonna yeah. judge the fuck out of that nigga immediately. Yeah, that's you know? true. That's true. You have to start clean every time. You have time to start you clean every Kanye time now. you deal yeah. with him, yeah. bro. Because and then on top of that, it's not like he's uh, not not articulate, but it's like he's not well spoken. So sometimes yeah, it like it doesn't come off, it doesn't flow off. It might be yeah. right up here, but the way it comes out of his mouth may be all crooked. That's and right, so true, then that's you kind of ha- it's like you then you have to put the pieces together. And they're like, ah, okay, I see what you true, mean. True, 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 <laughs> yeah. true. Because so. yeah, because I I thought it was a good interview, bro. And when I look at the scope of the whole thing, totality, like I look at it from like some even some of the when you look at it from the the whole piece. You realize that some of the things that they're pulling in the clips, it didn't even hit that hard when I look at it as a whole thing. When I look at the clip, right. it hits crazy hard. But and I, 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 I honestly, I, kinda, I, I understand them. 
I haven't, I've only seen it in totality. These exactly. clips that I'm playing are the ones that I screen recorded as I was watching, as right. I was watching it. Because yeah. I was like, oh, I like that part. I like that part. Yeah. And then, um, but I haven't seen, I've, obviously I've seen them post clips about him. You on haven't the like clicked on But that. I haven't clicked on any of them, but I'm sure they sound wild. They sound wild. Yeah. But the whole thing didn't sound crazy to me because when he would say something out of pocket, I'm like, well, it's Kanye. You know but what I'm saying? After, like, but then after he I'm... said something out of pocket and then he he mentioned like, yo, just because I name drop or put somebody's name in a, yeah, in a thing doesn't mean it's that. beef. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? True. And when he said it like that, I was like, okay, I see where he might be coming from now. Yeah. Now you know that saying? is annoying though. Like, that is still annoying, and he's been it doing is. it since. It is annoying. He's been doing it since the Sway interview. Oh, it's, it is annoying. I get yeah. it. Since since the you don't got the answer, yeah. Sway. Yeah. He's been doing it. Yeah. The name drops of all these people. It drives. It's so fucking annoying, bro. Like the way the, the it doesn't. The name drop itself don't annoy me too much. It's just when it seems uh it's, when it seems really hypocritical. It, that's when it annoys me. Mm-hmm. So okay. like, so like the Soldier Boy thing, right? Yeah. Like. The fact that he says that because he talks, um, Kanye talks about just saying what it is all the time, like feel yeah, like he's yeah, the person yeah. say say what it is. But then Soldier Boy going online talking about how Kanye texted him about the song saying I it's saw crazy, that. like yeah, te- on like, DJ Academics, like, yeah, and Acad- like, yeah, so yeah, Academics you know interview Soldier Boy. Yeah. And- Kanye made it seem like, like Soldier Boy shit was fine. He was fucking with Soldier Boy's verse heavily. Right. Like right. Academics was like, okay, bro, I get it. Like yeah. he gashed, he's he gashing, gashing you up. up right now. But then in the interview, he was he trying was to like, downplay it. Exactly. And yeah. now it's hypocritical. Because yeah, you said yeah, you're the person cool. who you said you're the person who says things as it is, and you're doing it in this interview right now, but you didn't do it to Soldier Boy when we had an opportunity. Yeah, I did. And, you know and we already heard Soldier and then, Boy's side. And facts. And the fact yeah. that and the fact that you didn't do it to him and then all these other people like Drake are saying, like, one minute we cool, one we not like right, now right, it seems right. like you are being the hypocritical person. Right, right. You well, know what I'm right. I mean, but keep in mind too that he did say that he's bipolar. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what bipolarism is. Like, that's oh, what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One minute that hot, one minute that. But it's cold. crazy though because, like, when he was talking and he was like, every time he get in these modes, people say, "Oh, he's being manic." Oh, it's an episode. Like, yeah, it made it seem like some of them really aren't, and some like it's hard to tell which that ones are. True. You know yeah, what I'm that is true. He did kind of talk about how uh, he was like he can't even say something that anybody would feel. Because they think he's tripping out and maybe he's manic right now. So right, go ahead, ignore him. Right. Yeah. So he could, might not mean it tomorrow. Right. Exactly. He might yeah. change his mind tomorrow. But honestly, that's just like, like, what are we supposed to do as the, yeah. as with the that, person yeah. outside of it? You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? What are we it's like, to do? that's fact. Because then we can't really stick with anything you say. But then you, it's offensive if I don't take anything you say seriously either. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where Where's that balance? How do you even, how do you even walk that balance? Yeah. How do you yeah. really know? Bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how do you walk that balance? And then if you do do it actively, it's exhausting. Yeah. It's exhausting. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Is he the, is he the first like celebrity to like, like outright have by Bipolar disorder? Well, at least like say they say do because yeah. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure there's people who have I'm all sure sorts a shit of shit ton of them that, got yeah. it but uh, yeah yeah not a shit ton but I know and maybe some people first. are like un- undiagnosed and shit but I too. guess I don't know because I mean was any I mean do you feel like since you've been alive that people were like yeah this is my mental health disability or um, this disorder like I've heard uh, you know I so always much. heard about Rare. bipolar yeah, yeah. Disorder, not stuff like that I don't I don't I don't you don't I don't hear about People like sharing the bipolar part piece or like the schizophrenic piece. I don't hear those kind of things being shared as quite as often as just somebody having like anxiety or something. Yeah, Exi- yeah, you know yeah. What I'm anxiety like, is very that's true. That's maybe true. because anxiety too is like more common. Maybe yeah, yeah. anxiety, depression. Those are the common yeah. ones are, that you yeah. kind of hear. Once you hear bipolar, schizophrenia, that's like the, you'd be like, you're, like you're at level yeah. two. Yeah, you're like yeah, at the bottom. Yeah, level. yeah, yeah. That's that's that's, that's definitely level two. Going near straight stray jacket. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's not quite there, but I'm saying it's like your your steps closer. <laughs> we're not trying to shoot at nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah, have bipolar, we're, we're saying disorder, people who don't have these. This that's yeah. what we think. That's what we yeah. think. It's, it's fucked up, but it's like that's where your mind kind of goes yeah, at yeah. first. Yeah, it's fucked up, but it's like. We don't know how deep that is. Does that mean yeah. that you need that straight jacket, or does that mean you just kind of trip out more than the average person? Right. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's funny as hell. Yeah, um, but yeah, but real, real quick about what you were saying, ahead. like how you were saying, like if you take the clips out of order, then it won't make sense and all or that. Or if you just, just take you know, the take spicy one. parts, that yeah. You or the spicy. Because he would say something spicy, like off real the rip, crazy, yeah, and then be like. And the reason I say that is because... Right. But, but they course, would cut off that part. Of course. Of course. Yeah. That's not the clickbait part. You know what I'm saying? So then that's just up to the viewers to just like to not be research. an idiot that's and just happen, be though. like... Well, you, we already know that ain't yeah, cause it's like, Yeah, because context don't matter. Well, <laughs> anyway. Context, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, 
Oh yeah, let me. So I, yeah. I made three screen recordings. And yeah. I honestly, bro, I, y'all, I don't 100 percent remember what I screen recorded either, too. So okay. It's kind of kind of a first. For me. <laughs> Text you back slow, different things. I don't let me tell you, as the leader, I don't operate like that. Don't be on my phone texting, texting back slow. If I, if, <laughs> I just like that part. Okay, he was like feeling himself. He was talking about yeah. when he when he has a problem with Drake. When he has a problem, Drake, it's all about the psychological games with Drake. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because he sounds. Yeah. Look, I mean, look, I, I'm not calling him a girl or anything, but I'm just saying like. I feel like Drake is treating him like a girl. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. And pretty much he's saying that. Is he cheating on me? Is he not cheating on me? Right. What's going yeah, on? He like, said that he said Drake play with him like that <laughs> when when he tries to holler at him about some real shit, Drake play with him. He might text him back fast for a moment. Right. Then when he hit him with some, then he started texting him real slow. And then yeah. he was like, hey, yo, don't be texting my phone. That's <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> Try to gain position and shit. Yeah, yeah that shit that's was funny, just, He treats him like just, a girl. That shit was just funny to me. I ain't gonna hold you, though, bro. That's something that does annoy me, though. No, I feel uh, No, no, no. I, it I, is I fucking this. annoying. I feel that, though. Here, yeah. Here's why it annoys me, personally, because I'm not, I don't play those games. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't like, if, I, if my phone's with me, I'm you, you want to say, who, 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 who you the fuck you think you are, yeah, yeah. you yeah. are, yeah. like, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. what the fuck do you think is going on? Like, I lose respect for women like that, bro. Yeah, yeah, be like, yeah, yeah, but see, but the key is to not let them know that you're... Oh, I don't. But he I is. I don't, yeah. He's, He's letting, letting yeah, Drake yeah, know. Yeah, 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 but that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, Drake has... Drake always has so much ammo to work Once with. Once you let him know, then they know they have the power to keep yeah. pissing you I don't let him know. I just adjust. But, but like, I just... You know what I'm saying? I just adjust. But the fact that I have to adjust is like... Because I'd be pissed. Like, yeah, I'd be pissed. But hearing somebody... But hearing him say it in the way he said yeah. it like that shit was just, it was just funny as fuck to me cause it's like hearing your mind yeah like he's yeah, saying mind, how like, you're feeling like hey yo don't be playing with me like that this shit got me <laughs> fucked up you know yeah. what I'm saying like <laughs> but you got you got all the things in the world that said you you text it back quick as shit about right. everything else but when I start applying some pressure all of a sudden you gotta think about everything Facts. you know what I'm saying yeah. but you were so quick every every other time yeah uh, let me see what this last this last one is 12 seconds I can't remember what it was that's my family Hulu mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. Yeah. I like when he talks very proper. Something like this is my family. <laughs> yeah, he's saying y'all should have killed me about that George Bush don't care about black people. So that's when he was kind of going that he was straight up telling um, Kim again because I'm sure this ain't the first time he's told Kim that he said I don't fuck with her publicist and I don't fuck with some of them nannies that are around. Around my kids, yeah, and then he name dropped them. He was like, "I don't you, I don't fuck with you." Mm -hmm. Period, oh, shit. like straight up. And he was pretty mm -hmm. much saying that. Uh, now this is something that um, Ebro. You know the thing about Ebro, just real quick. Like he was when I was I watched the uh, Hot ninety seven talking about it. I didn't get to finish watching Breakfast Club talking about it. But Ebro always just sounds so bitter. Like some like I I'll, I'll never forget one time I heard, I heard an Ebro interview. I was like. This is a dope dude. That's yeah. all I was like. It was the best, and I think it might have been Juan Epstein. For those who want to hear this, mm. if you know, if you're not a fan of Ebro, type in Ebro Juan Epstein. I had the most respect for him I've ever had in that interview in particular. Yeah. Heard about his upbringing in the and his upbringing in life, his upbringing in radio, all that stuff. I said, "Oh, this is a fire ass story." You didn't know, like, bro, had a good story, like yeah. how he got to where he's at. Mm. But then it was just, it's just now it's just like, bro, don't nobody want to hear your bitter ass, like. Well, he's, uh, so pretty much, he was pissed that uh, he was pissed at Kanye because Kanye said the media is separating and breaking my family apart. Right. Yeah. And he's saying you can't um, invite the media into your 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 life, into your life, and then complain when the media is causing problems within your family and your life, pretty much. Yeah. And there's they were just saying such an easy cop out. You know what I mean? To yeah. us, com to us commenting on him, his relationship between him and Kim. Yeah. I don't know if that's a cop out though, bro. That's and no, I don't think it's, it's a cop out because, either. That's what Ebro was saying. Because what what Kanye was saying was, um, these these salacious headlines and these stories that are being ran about me and my family, you're a part of it, and you're sitting in my house with me right now. 
Right, like, right, like this right, publicist, right. this publicist is yeah, literally they're, a part they're, of some of these campaigns. Through you, yeah. And yeah. you're you're sitting in my house right now. I don't fuck you. You're you're, you're putting out campaigns that yeah. break my family apart. And you're not and you're not allowed to come back to my house. You know what I'm saying? And you're yeah. in my house right now. Like, how am I supposed to look at you? Yeah, and yeah. that I totally get that. It's like, yeah. yeah, she could push all the stories she wanted to, but then you got the nerve to come, be sitting up in here, and hanging out and shit, yeah, hanging like, out and just, yeah. but you just put some shit out about how terrible me and Kim are together or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that's. But they were saying that's an easy cop out because they were like, "Well, you the one that's talking about you dating some hot supermodel," and then Kim was on some roller coaster holding Pete Davidson hand. Um, just I don't mention. Shout out to uh, shout out to Pete Davidson, legend. Out here, legend comedy. But he is out here and for for y'all that don't know about Pete too much. Pete is out here slinging that dick yeah, to a lot of celebrity women. Yep. Okay, See, there's yeah. there's not that many. There's Kate really Beckinsale. only a few celebrities that we know that was out here really just like moving like giving that. it up <laughs> to these other celebrity women. Derek Cause Jeter. It's, but Nick Cannon, Derek Jeter, Derek Jeter. Pete Davidson is the newest on that list. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. even rappers, we know rappers can fuck anybody yeah. they want, but they don't run around and tell you a list of the other celebrities they done fucked with. Yeah. Pete Davidson's list is sturdy right now. You so, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down. You know what I'm saying? Every time you turn around, he's with somebody. Uh, oh, you see a photo with him walking with somebody exactly, else. Like, what exactly. The, yeah. What is no, that? no disrespect to Kai, you know, or Kim White. Oh, I didn't even know about that until you said it, actually. But yeah, I know one of the things that was bothering him that the publicist put out apparently was he, oh, he was saying SNL got my wife to read a teleprompter when she was hosting, talking about me and Kanye are divorced. And he's like, I haven't seen no papers. Like, but you got my wife on TV saying that she's divorced to me, but I haven't signed any divorce papers. Mm. Uh, stuff like that is what's really bothering him as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I can get that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. can get that. Like, So that's why he's like, that's why he's just kind of coming at corporations and he's like, that's my family, Hulu. That's not my family. Oh, that's what Public. he brought Yeah. Okay. I don't know why he kept saying Hulu. Does Kim have some sort of deal with I'm, Hulu? I'm assuming that. I'm well, assuming, I think, yeah. I, I'm guessing the show may go on there. Is that, is maybe, that where their show is? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Saturday Night Live? Saturday Night Live? Or no, what? The Keeping no, Up with like, the Kardashians? Uh, keeping Up with the Kardashians. Oh. Well, that's ending though, but they probably got something going on Hulu. Oh, okay. They yeah, got something going on with Hulu. I'm assuming. I don't really know, but I think so. Yeah, because when he said Hulu, I was like, why the fuck is he talking about He said that shit three times, so what's the point? Yeah, there was definitely a point, so maybe. We just ain't up on what they're what doing he's TV doing. wise, yeah. which is a high possibility. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Because it ain't like I'm watching it. But mm. have y'all ever watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians? I've never done it, bro. You I, haven't? I, I, but I know you were selling. I, I think you were telling me that Chris Jenner was like running shit. Like, I mean, oh yeah, without question. Yeah, but yeah. Keeping Up with the Kardashians is a pretty fucking entertaining show. It is. It's crazy as it sounds. Like you can get caught up watching that shit, bro. Like nah, I believe Scott, it, bro. I've Scott been Disick up is the realest nigga on that show. You just watch the. Well, we could start over if you'd like. Hey, you just watched the Three Oak podcast instead of listening to it. <laughs> you just watched the Three Oak podcast. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Three Oak podcast. Hey, and um, you should click the subscribe in the box right below. This guy's a rapper. <laughs>